Are you a seeker of the divine truth about your own existence? Is the flame of self-exploration and self-mastery burning ever so brightly in your heart? Then you are at the right place. You are not here by chance. The universe orchestrated the events that led you here so that you may finally enlighten yourself with your own truth. It's important to know the fundamentals of who you are so that you may equip yourself with the best tools to prosper in this realm and beyond. The body you see is just a garment you have chosen for this lifetime. The essence veiled behind this cloak is your true self. We call it your soul. Your soul has always been here. It has always existed in one timeline or the other, spanning lifetimes and transcending all limitations of humanness. So it really is your great reservoir of truth. And to tap into it, you must voyage on a journey inwards. This video is all about your reincarnation and how you can unearth the bounty buried deep within the layers of your consciousness. Make sure you watch the video till the very end to grasp all the key concepts. And if you are interested in these topics, be sure to click the subscribe button so the free flowing stream of useful information is never interrupted. Your past lives and all the circumstances you have lived through are still a part of your consciousness. Those events and happenings are still scattered somewhere in your energy field, but you are not aware of them or remember any of them because you have not built and honed the necessary skill of self-awareness. Also, for a person who doesn't yet have the mental dexterity to receive a flood of details calmly, perhaps being ignorant of his past lives isn't such a bad choice after all. Nature is always trying to protect us from shock and abrupt change, so it doesn't want to overwhelm our senses with painful memories or striking traumas. Your past lives might have been as pleasurable as a stroll in the park, or you might have endured troubling situations that eventually compelled you to leave that realm entirely. The truth is, we don't know exactly. Nobody knows what happened to you in your past lives. But if there is someone who can gain access to those confidential records, it's you. Sure, you might take the help of a hypnotist or an enlightened master to help in your initiation. But once you find one end of this far-reaching voyage of self-exploration, you will have to learn to take steps on your own. This inner expedition might not go as you plan, and things might pan out totally alien to what you had thought. But with an open mind, you can find treasures of wisdom in there. Each life you have lived till now is a valuable fortune with incredible lessons. These are the lessons you learned as a spirit, and hence they are now forever etched in the garment of your eternal soul. Each of these lessons could open you to a new world of infinite possibilities, and you can leverage that essential knowledge to live this life of yours to the fullest. That is why knowing, or at least being curious about your past lives is paramount. It gives you a chance to deep dive into your own self and explore the gems you need to forge ahead in this lifetime. Also, your higher self is directly connected to divine intelligence, so it has access to profound insights that cannot be found through normal states of consciousness. The discernment, understanding and experience your eternal soul carries is incomparable and infinitely greater than your perceptions and interpretations as a human being. The next logical question in this chain of thought is how can someone access this knowledge and become familiar with the lives they have lived in this or other dimensions? The answer is Akashic Records. Think of the Akashic Records as a data-keeping unit of your soul. It contains everything and all the information related to your soul. And it's important to realize that once we move beyond this dimension of time and space, there is no past, present, or future. Everything occurs simultaneously. So what you perceive as your past is just a small fragment of your entire Akashic record. So, along with finding out about your past, these records also hold information about your present and future, as all three timelines exist, parallel in the dimension of no space and time. The soul is energy that is neither born nor ever dies, so it keeps on going through cycles of birth, death and rebirth over and over again until all the valuable lessons are learned and the ultimate purpose of the soul is fulfilled. What is that purpose exactly? 
nobody knows. However, Anita Morjani, a lady who has a well-documented case of a near-death experience, says, What I really learned was that life is a gift and our only purpose is to be who we are. We all make it so complicated and try to find our purpose. I learned that all I have to do is be as me as I can be. There are so many ways to access the Akashic Records, but all of them start with a willingness to explore one's inner self. An invaluable tool in this regard is the timeless practice of meditation. Meditation has just started garnering attention in the Western world, but enlightened souls have been using it for centuries to establish a connection with the divine and to learn more about their higher self. Think of meditation as an energy clearing and purifying ritual. The simple act of sitting in silence and listening to the sound of your breath can untie even the most stubborn knots in your mind. These knots are the painful memories, traumas, and sometimes nostalgia that keep themselves hidden far deep into the darkest corners of your mind. When you are latching onto these notions from your past, there is not enough space in your mind to be truly free to get deeper with yourself. You must let go of these mental weights that are weighing your mind and spirit down, and meditation will be your savior in that aspect. Secondly, meditation helps purify your mind from the conditioning you receive from the society you live in. Each human culture is built on a shared set of values and norms. When a child is below the age of seven, his brain is mostly in slow brainwave states, meaning it's highly receptive to the information it's being exposed to. This is why, for most people, the biggest traumas are from their childhood events. The mind of a child is akin to a clean state that readily absorbs societal conditioning and judgments. While learning about basic etiquette and ethics is imperative for a child, sometimes his naive mind also absorbs the opinions of others and holds them as absolute truth. For example, a child might hear from his parents that life is a struggle and take that opinion as a fact. That thought might solidify itself as a belief in his mind over time, and for all his life, he will carry that limiting way of perceiving life. Unless a person is willing to work on his development as an adult, he will keep on carrying the grudges of the past and limiting beliefs that he acquired as a child. Here is a simple meditation technique to gradually peel into layers of yourself and finally enter the realm of the Akashic Records. Sit in a quiet and comfortable place to begin the practice of meditation. Slowly close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to calm down your senses. Begin with a total body scan. Place all your attention on the top of your head. Feel the skin over your skull and your forehead. Consciously relax the muscles in this part of your body and then move into your ears, eyes and face. Relax your face and your nasal cavity. As you relax one part of your body, move your attention down to the next part and let it unwind. From your face, move down to your neck and your arms, ending all the way to your fingertips. Focus on your chest, the rib cage, your abdomen and your pelvic area. From there on, after slowly losing all your muscles, move to the lower parts of your body. Direct your attention towards your thighs, knees and calves. Eventually, move to your feet and your toes. Feel an overwhelmingly tranquil sensation overtaking your entire body and mind. Let your thoughts and emotions relax too. Let them be overcome by a deeper sense of serenity. By now, your body and mind will be in a much more relaxed state than before. So it's time to heighten your awareness by focusing on the third eye. Your third eye is located right in the middle of your forehead and it is your special portal to higher dimensions. In Hinduism, this is called the Ajna Chakra and when it is activated, it connects you to your soul and assists you in uncovering the secrets of your existence. Gently focus on your third eye and direct your breath towards it. As you inhale, See your third eye chakra blooming and expanding, and as you exhale, see it shrinking in size. Keep doing this for a few minutes until you start feeling pressure in that area, indicating a slight shift in energy. Now it's time in your meditation to uncover the hidden archives of the universe, the Akashic Records. Breathe deeply and let yourself dissolve into a trance. You do not need to do anything at this point, so don't try to anticipate anything. 
Simply surrender into the vastness of nothing and let yourself go. Let your senses be disconnected from this world so you can make a connection with the outer world. Soon, in a state of hypnosis, you will begin receiving impulses and guidance from your higher self. You can stay in the state of meditation until you feel comfortable and then slowly return to your senses, ending your session. The impulses you will receive in the last part of your practice may not be as clear if you are doing meditation for the first time, but with consistency and repetition, you will eventually be able to decipher the meaning of these impulses. They will show you the way to your past self as you will start having profound realizations during otherwise ordinary moments of everyday life. The knowledge about your past lives will never be revealed to you suddenly and all at once. Instead, you will begin getting glimpses and intuitive nudges that will eventually lead you back to your true self. This way, you will have the best chance of extracting useful details about your life path. Another useful technique to reveal crucial information from your past lives is the act of journaling your thoughts, feelings, desires, and aspirations. Sometimes, the route to our true selves is shrouded with fear and ego, and you must overcome these two monsters along the way to get to the destination in the end. Writing down your thoughts on a piece of paper will help you recognize your own flawed thought patterns that are either driven by fear or ego. Being fearful keeps you from discovering the truth about yourself and chains you to your comfort zone. And ego is another beast altogether. It takes away any rational thought and replaces it with sheer arrogance and rigidity. But if you are intent on knowing yourself and your past lives, you cannot let either fear or ego take the best of you. Your thoughts can only mess with your head until they are not expressed. So writing them down is one wonderful way of releasing them from your conscious mind. This is the first phase of effective journaling. Once you are done with phase one and your conscious mind is mostly clear from the incessant chatter and mental clutter, you can then take a shot at delving into the subconscious. The subconscious is a repository of timeless wisdom and you can begin tapping into this reservoir by using the second phase of journaling. This one deals with writing down any intuitive thoughts you receive, either in your meditations, through your dreams, or by impulses. You will be amazed to discover that the more details you will begin to journal, the more doors will open for you inwards. It's much like peeling the layers of an onion. Just when you think you have found the sweet spot and learned all you need to know about yourself, it turns out there exists another layer to seep into. It is beneficial to realize that your past lives have shaped you into your current essence. And if you are struggling in your present, it means that some wounds of the past are still open and in dire need of healing. When you heal your energy field, you will heal your past lives as well because they are all intertwined and deeply connected. A perfect way to heal your energetic essence is to unblock the chakras in your body so love and compassion can flow in freely. A chakra is a Sanskrit word that literally means a spinning wheel. In Indian mythology, the human body is seen as a system of various energy channels or chakras that keep it emotionally well and physically balanced. Each chakra has its distinct color and properties. When a chakra becomes clogged with emotional distress or resentments of the past, it acts like a barrier to the flow of vital energy in the body. So chakra rebalancing is an essential modality to help you with healing your past as well as your present life circumstances. The easiest way of rebalancing the chakras is by directing your energy to them one by one. For this, you must know the position of the chakras in your body, sit down in a meditative pose and close your eyes. Start with the root chakra located at the base of your spine. Fill its space with your attention and breath and in your mind's eye, Visualize its wheel spinning freely. Then, move to the sacral chakra in your lower abdomen and repeat the same process for a few moments. Keep moving and one by one, cover all the chakras until you reach the crown chakra at the top of your head. By the time you reach this chakra, you will already be feeling a massive release of stuck emotions from all over your body. This is an indication that you have triggered the process of energy balancing. So. Has the idea of gaining access to the Akashic Records ever fascinated you? If yes, 
then which of these techniques are you going to put into practice? Let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, keep growing spiritually.